Uh, one online student is asking uh, if there are more Qigong forms. <coughs> yes, uh, actually, there is uh, one more Qigong form in Wudang uh, San Form by School. But basically, we only have these two forms, yes? And uh, in a traditional school, you basically always have a few exercises, yes? And you try to learn these few exercises. One common problem in uh, these times is that people have too much information, yes? They want to learn, oh, the Tai Chi 28, then the Tai Chi 108, then the Tai Chi 13, then we must learn the Wu Xing Qi Gong. We have so many forms, yes? Uh, the thing is, when you want to proceed, when you want to learn in a traditional school, Uh, first, we must learn how to stand straight. First, we must learn how to breathe. Then second, we must learn how to use qi. These are very, uh, very essential things, yes? So we learn control one practice, step by step, yes? Uh, so uh, our school, we coming directly from Yen Qigong school. We only have these two Qigong forms. Because even for coaches who practice it like 20 years, they still practice the same forms. Yes. So there's no real uh, improvement when we add more Qigong forms. Yes. Other schools have other two Qigong forms. Yes. But I don't know any Wudang Sanfong Pai school who practice like five Qigong forms. It's basically it's too much. Yes. You want to start, when you, when you start with Qigong practice, yes? First, you want to learn the five animal Qigong because it's easiest, it's only five exercises. Uh, basically, with these five exercises, you can improve forever, yes? You keep practicing the five animal Qigong, you have uh, a lot of potential for self-improvement, yes? I have uh, coaches and students who basically practice this since three to five years, It's still improving. And China is the same. Yeah. So our grandmaster is still exercising the five animal Qigong. Yes. We, because, we, because we don't stop exercising, yes, we can always improve. But there is no point in having five Qigong forms or one Qigong form, yes, is basically because the Wuxing Qigong and the Badan Qin Qigong complement each other very nicely, yes. But when you start Qigong practice, I already think the Badan Qin and the Wuxing Qigong maybe is a bit too much, yes, because it's complicated. Yeah. But either way, we always continue practicing Bada and Qin and the Buxing Qigong practice. When you start with Qigong, I'm sure it's too much. But every time something you realize and then you can improve, yes. So our school is repeating these two forms um, for our exercises, yes. Uh, even when you do it for a very long time, I'm sure you will find things you can improve and how you can support your strength, yes. The Qigong in the Sanfong Pai school is basically meant to keep your strength, yes. We keep the positions, we keep the strength, and we keep our Qi efficient, yes. When we practice the Qigong, the breathing, the work with the Qi, and the power in the positions, um, we keep this, we keep this, how to say this in English, um, we keep this um, uh, strength, control, yes? Everything that goes into internal martial arts, yes? Bufa, senfa, cheto, is basically position, internal movement, and rhythm. This is what we exercise here, yes? We don't need too much forms. Only need five forms or so, yes? We keep exercising and we practice it. Because it's easy way how we remain in control and remain on improving our skills, yes? Like we keep our strength, we keep the control, we keep the chi. 
So this is basically why we don't add too much forms or you have forms before other forms. Yes. When you want to learn piety, there are forms you need to learn before. Because there's no point, yes. So the Qigong is very good point. When you start learning in Samfang Pai School. You start learning, stay straight, use Qi, use power, how to relax, how to coordinate the breathing. When you're starting off, it's very good, yes. But still, when you are a coach or want to make education out of school, mm, you practice five years, you will still feel, okay, today I must practice Qigong again, yes. So this is something you want to uh, look away from. You will always look on what is improving you. So you will always look on your Qigong practice. When you want to improve in Kung Fu and practice the Kung Fu form and afterwards practice Qigong again. Yeah. Because the Qigong will help you. Yeah. And also for the Tai Chi. Yeah. Uh, the Qigong form will help you in everything. Yeah. This is why we start with the Qigong training. Okay? So we only need two forms. You know? All these others, I think, is too complicated. And I think everybody knows how to improve and where we can improve. And this basically is important for our Qigong practice. And for, for the people who can already do the forms, we control and practice our strength. Yes, then we keep strong and we keep uh, having this power for the other forms and the other exercises. So, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, open, relax, shift to the left side. So, we go into Mabu. And we support ourselves on the knees. Make sure the knees are outside in 45 degree angle together with the toes. Our body is straight. We look over the right shoulder. So, and in circular motion, we go to the other side. So, 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 so. So, and we're going to Pubu. Again, look over the right shoulder. So, circular motion. So. So, so, so.
change pupil other side. So so so. So, 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 Mabu. Aber body straight and slowly go up, breathe in, shoulder relax. And keep the posture straight. We go to our basic position and breathe slowly. <laughs> <laughs> 